video, I will show you this Holly Golightly Breakfast at Tiffany's hair and makeup look for Halloween. It's such a simple and easy costume to put together, and it's actually really comfortable. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com, and if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps me out. I started with clean skin, and the first thing I used was my Clarins Lip Oil in the cherry flavor. Then I went in with my Ola Henriksen Truth Serum and put this all over my skin, and this is a really nice brightening serum. After that, I used my Estee Lauder Day Wear Moisturizer, and I love this because it absorbs so quickly into the skin. Then I used my YSL All Hours Concealer, and I really like that this one actually matches my skin tone, which is deceivingly yellow in undertone. I put that underneath my eyes and around my nose, and then I set that in with some plain old Maybelline Mineral Powder on a fluffy brush. Then I used my trusty Cover FX foundation using a different fluffy brush. After that, I used this Hot Mama blush from The Balm, and I used quite a bit to emulate that just woken up blushed look. Then I used this My Little Pony palette, and I went in with a fairly dark brown compared to what I usually use on my brows. I did the tail of the brow, then I did a rather thick line on the lower portion of the brow, and then brushed up to fill it in. She has fairly large brows in this movie, so I wanted to make sure I captured that. Then I dipped into this pewter color, also in the My Little Pony palette, and I brushed that across the entire lid, and then built it up in the outer third of each lid. Then I went in with this Starlux Pro felt tip eyeliner, and I gradually built up that line across the entire eyelid. Then I did the tiniest chunky little wing on each side, and after that I was ready to go in with my Arbonne bronzer. And I just did a little bit of this underneath my cheekbones and under my chin. Of course, Audrey Hepburn was very, very thin from her childhood experiences, and I have these really big full cheeks, so I wanted to cut in a little bit. Then I used my Rimmel nude color eyeliner on the waterline. Of course, in the movie, she's just woken up and she's overslept, so she's pretty well rested. Then I used that same pewter color underneath my lower eyelids because she is waking up in her previous day's makeup, so it is a little bit smudged below her eyes. Then I used the same black up eyelashes that I used in my My Little Pony makeup tutorial, and of course, I reused them after sanitizing them. Then I connected any lines or gaps that remain from the eyelashes with my eyeliner then I curled those lashes and then I went in with this pop cosmetics mascara it has this kind of unique type of comb on the end of it that's really great for integrating your natural lashes into your false lashes then I went in with this Rimmel nude delight lipstick it's a really orangey nude color that matches really well with what she wore in the movie and then it was time for hair. I used this hot, sexy hair protecting spray, and it's got a really nice scent and really nice finish to it that leaves your hair very silky. Then I used my Enzo Milano straightening comb, and this is far and away the best hair straightening comb I have ever used. So I heat protected all of my hair, I separated the top from the bottom, and then I teased the heck out of the top layer of my hair. So I especially focused on any area past my ears, and then I left the area in front of my ears free from any teasing, and I just straightened that out to provide that nice smooth finish on top. Then I gathered it all up and gradually twisted the ends until I ended up with sort of a miniature French twist on only the upper half of my hair. And what's nice about this is the longer your hair is, the more it's going to add to that volume at the back of your head, but you could also use some extensions to build it up a little bit if you needed. Then I pinned that in place with three or four bobby pins. It doesn't have to look neat because in the movie Holly had just woken up after having slept in this hairdo. Then I added my homemade tassel earrings as a substitute for her earplugs and my homemade mask and that is the completed look if you want to see these DIYs that I did for this costume I'll link the video in the description below and thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this one let me know in the comments and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up